It was Norris's decision uh, today to play in the game. I told him yesterday, take as much time as you need. We're here for you. Um, we all know this. Basketball is just a game. And uh, there's a lot more important things in basketball. And, you know, faith and family are at the top of that list. And um, I've said it before. Norrance is one of the most, you know, disciplined winners that I've ever coached. Uh, he's a great basketball player, but he's even a, a better man. So um, just under extreme circumstances, it doesn't surprise me because, um, I mean, Norrance is a man. And, you know, none of us understand why these things happen. I, you know, you just rely on your faith and understand that this is a pretty short life we're all in. So I'm sure Norrance will be back with his cousins sooner than later. And, um, but today, I don't. I didn't think Norch could earn my respect even more than I already did. Um, but everything that transpired for yesterday, from about noon to the present time, for me, is just strengthened my opinion of Norch and uh, what kind of man he is. It's just getting back to the game, Coach. Just how much of a momentum builder was that? That 10-0 run where Tariq gets the block, Matt Mooney gets the three, and then that kind of really kind of set it for you. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Carlos. The game was kind of a blur to me. Uh, I don't really remember much runs. I just remember trying to kind of be there for Norris. And, you know, I kind of um, decided today that, you know, as the leader of this program, as the head coach, I, you know, you got to go to work. And, um and so I just told Norris today that I had his back and I would do everything I could to coach the team as well as I could and not get too high or too low. Uh, we know this doesn't make anything better. I thought your word choice was good, Carlos. It just basically gives him a little bit of an escape for about two hours. So that was our plan today, uh, to try to win this game for Norris, to just give him and his family maybe a short escape from the tragic reality that we're all facing right now. And then um, then we said we would get back to praying after the game. And that's exactly what we did. And, you know, I want to recognize Baylor, too. I, well, I've always had a lot of respect for Scott Drew. You know, I was an assistant here when he was the head coach. I remember when he got the job. It's well documented where the Baylor program was and all that. But um, he's he's been nothing but good to me my whole career. And today, just a lot of class by the Baylor team to, first of all, to reach out several times today um, to pray with our team after the game. So I just uh, – just wanted to publicly uh, say what everybody in our locker room is thinking. We just have a lot of respect for Baylor's program. I guess just in that second half when you brought them out and you obviously embraced with them, I guess did you tell them anything or I guess what was that for you just to kind of obviously give them some little recognition from the from the fan base there? Yeah, I don't, I don't even remember. Uh, just he was on my mind constantly today. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. And, um, you know, it's a sign of a man, you know, you, you know. You're a father and go through adversity. You still got to be a dad and husband one day. You still got to, you know, do that. And, you know, you lose a job from time to time. You still got to pay the rent. And so um, just I have a lot of respect for Norch. Um, he's just uh, – he's one of the toughest guys I've ever coached. And uh, he's going through a lot of pain right now. And I was glad for in some small, small way that really doesn't even matter. I was just glad the team played well today so we could, like you said, have a little bit of an escape. Your team has been very supportive of the, the team Luke cause for over a year now. Baylor brings out their autism, um, speaks shirts before the game. What is there to be said about using this platform as something for bigger issues? Uh, yeah, I mean, anything that brings awareness to issues, I think the coaches versus cancer has been something that I've really enjoyed being a part of and just kind of watching and observing. And uh, uh, yeah, well, I would totally agree with that question. You know, this, this sport is great. This game is great. It, Gives you a platform and um, just proud of our guys, like a Norris, like a Culver, like a Morrill, guys that stand for the right things. And um, yeah, I would share your view on that. Anything that college basketball can do to bring attention or raise funds or awareness to things that are more important than basketball, then, then I'm all for. Coach, uh, forgive my ignorance, but, uh, and I didn't hear about this until the announcement, but what exactly happened with Norris's cousins? I yeah, that's not my role today in this game just to support Norris, but um, basically uh, two of his cousins that he's very, very close to, um, you know, passed away. Um, I guess it would be uh, yesterday, early, early morning. Coach, a few weeks ago, it seemed like everyone was talking about the losing streak, and now your guys are on a winning streak. What does it say about your team 
to overcome that adversity? He's got to stay the course. Uh, you know, in our locker room, there wasn't much panic going on during that deal. We just understood that we lost a one possession game at home to a really good Iowa State team. And then we uh, gave ourselves a chance in two row games in the Big 12. So, um, you know, you can't get too high or too low. You got to stay the course. Our objective has always been to be a part of the fight. And I'm just really proud of this team. We're part of the fight. And, um, you know, our second year we got we got right there. We are part of the fight and lost a lot from last year's team. A lot of people, probably people in this room, thought that we weren't going to be able to, you know, get back in a fight. And here we are. And I think uh, – you got to give those seniors credit. You know, starts with Brandon and Norts, returners that believed, um, and then it's uh, Tariq and Matt came to this program to make an imprint, imprint from uh, day one, and they have. So, a um, lot of basketball left, uh, but I think it's an accurate statement to say that Texas Tech is a part of the fight right now with a few weeks left. You know, we're we're, we're uh, in contention for the conference championship, and that's our goal. Coach, how does your philosophy change when emotions are how they are today? And I mean, the team responded really well. So was there a difference or what did you have to say to kind of show them it's OK to be in this situation, but let's go out there and do this for Norrance? Yeah, I just spent some time with myself kind of last night and this morning, reached out to a couple people that I really trust. And, uh, you know, I don't know if there's no right thing to do. So I told the players this morning at shoot around that I don't I don't have the right answers. This wasn't a part of my education or my experience in coaching. Some things in life you don't have a game plan for. So I just try to be real consistent and careful with my words and tell Norris that this wasn't about basketball, that everybody in this program supports him completely, his choice to play in the game or not play today. And I told the team that we would uh, do everything we could to win the game for Norts. Um, I thought our staff did a great job. You know, obviously we've had a lot of things going on in practice, um, but I thought today that everybody in our program, you know, did what they were supposed to do under really tough adversity. And you know, Andrew is Norts's one of Norts's best friends, and uh, Drew's done a great job too here in the last two days. He missed practice yesterday supporting Norts, and uh, so there's just a lot of real relationships in that locker room. And it means the world work for us. Uh, we, we talked about it before the game. It was just for him, man. I can't I can say that enough. Uh, we played so hard in the first 10 minutes. Uh, we tried to give him the ball and, you know, just like play it like you always do because he's so important for us. And uh, But first of all, we were trying to like be aggressive and do first of all for him. I guess just the, obviously the, the win's kind of secondary to this, but I guess what, what did you feel you all did to kind of take control in that first half and just kind of really kind of from there? Like I say, we're trying to be aggressive, trying to play our defense. And we know Norris is our probably best defender, best protector of the rim, uh, alongside with Tariq. And we're trying to play aggressive. And Norris were really helping us. And it was really, I wasn't shocked. I mean, I was, I know how he's from Norris. And after this game, he's, I mean, he's unbelievable. I can't say that enough. Yeah, we need that sometimes, you know, we need some offense out of our defense and uh, we, we're pretty good at that and Tariq lead us with a big block and then Molly and then Matt uh, hit a big three trying to get through the motion. Uh, Dave, back to Norris, what does it mean for you, your teammates and this whole program that the fact that he was able to be on the court uh, so quickly after a tragedy like that and really support and you guys, what kind of example does that set? <clears throat> We know he's he's our leader. We know he's the strongest guy in this program. And when I say strongest, uh, it doesn't mean like you know weight room and muscles and all that. He's also like you can you can tell by yourself. He's for me like I can't even imagine how I would feel. Uh, he came to play and he he played. I mean I couldn't I couldn't say anything about him. Like he got rebounds, he got defenses um, plays, and I mean I can. Can't really say much. It's, it's unbelievable for us. Davide, um, could you talk a little bit about uh, your ability uh, to play without turning the ball over? Um, 33 minutes tonight, uh, you didn't get to have a single turnover, and that's been a trend with you lately. Could you just talk about your development in that regard? Coach has been on, on me for a long time, and uh, I had to trust, um, earn his trust uh, last year. And I think he helped me a lot because I remember last year I couldn't really turn the ball over like any time. <laughs> so I think he helped me in, in practice, uh, in games last year, in practice this year. 
and uh, I think the results. I think the results are coming out right now, and uh, feel confidence. I feel like I gotta run the team and uh, just had them turn the ball over. Just try to make the easy plays and sometimes like try to not force things. Talk about the tray you missed early in the second half, and then the hustle rebound by Culver kicked it right back to you, and you uh, sunk it. It was a huge play by Culver. Uh, we talked about uh, the last few days. We need we need some more offensive rebounds, and uh, the first one, yeah, I miss. Um, I kind of leave the ball in the first threes, and uh, then I got a, another wide open look and uh, just shoot it.